This is my project FNORD, F-N-O-R-D, that I created for Kansas Fest 2020's Hackfest. Kansas Fest is a uh, convention oriented for Apple II computers and, and in general Apple 8-bit computers, so, you know, somewhat including the Apple I and the Apple III. Um, and, uh, yeah, and um, uh, I wrote some code mostly in assembly language um, or machine code after it's compiled uh, that um, showcases uh, hooking into program output uh, routines so that you can change how characters are drawn to the screen uh, with interesting and kind of funny results uh, modifying what you get on the screen. Uh, and so without further ado, I'm going to put it up. Okay, so this disc contains a number of programs, as I said, for messing with the screen, um, both while you yourself are typing it, you know, in other words, while you're typing in this manner, uh, whoops, uh, or, yeah, let's see if I can do something about that. Uh, or while uh, you know, or or from output from a from a running program, and so I've written a bunch of filters that basically modify the output stream bef right before it appears on the screen. So it's it's it modifies what characters are being fed um, to the routine that actually draws them to the screen based on what programs are writing and based on what users are typing, um, and so. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and, and start in with an example. Here is, let's see, we will do mix case. Okay, and that's all loaded and ready to run. Now, the, the message you see on the screen is from a basic program that automatically runs when the, when the um, disk starts up. So that's currently loaded into memory. I'm just going to run it again. Uh, notice that already you can see the run command kind of looks different right now. And lo and behold, uh, the output is in mixed case. Uh, so this filter toggles back and forth uh, whether any letters that it sees will be printed out in uppercase or lowercase. Uh, and normally if you, you know, it, it happens as you're I think that's one too many L's, but anyway. It happens as you yourself are typing as well. Um, but what's showing on the screen and what you're actually typing are two different things. And um, AppleSoft Basic is only going to see what you are actually typing and not what you see on the screen. So even though um, this kind of mixed case um, print token may not, I'm not actually 100% sure, but it may not be acceptable for AppleSoft, especially on DOS 3.3, 3. um, but it will work just fine. And even, I definitely know that the catalog command requires all caps lock on DOS 3.3, .3. and you can run that just fine, and you'll see that the, the, the output there also, uh, ends up with all the mixed case and all of that goodness. Um, and you can type PR um, hashtag zero or PR sharp zero or PR pound zero, however you like to say that, um, and press return and it will restore the uh, the normal output when you do that. Um, so let's try another example. I'm going to do leet, which is an homage to uh, the the Haxor leet speech. Uh, script kitty kind of language that you would see in the late 90s and early 2000s, I guess. Um, that was mostly, you know, just s silly, um, uh, you know, angsty teenagers with some with some scripted tools that that uh, thought that they, you know, could break into any computer would tend to talk like that to avoid uh, uh, catching sort of wor word filters on forums and things like that that would that would try to um, filter out posts based on the content. So it was a way of getting around it. And if I type run, as you can see, here's some lead speak. Uh, it replaces all the E's with threes, all the L's with ones, all the O's with zeros. 
uh, T's become 7, S becomes 5, uh, I'm sure I'm missing some, uh, A becomes 4, um, and that's, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, oh, and 6 become, uh, 6 stands in for G. Uh, and so you can see, like, in GitHub, for instance, toward the bottom, the link there, uh, is, uh, replaced with a 6 for the G. Um, and so that's fun, and yeah, again, as I, oop, uh, as I type out, yeah, I still didn't quite make it over to the, there we go. You can see it still comes out that way. Uh, and, uh, you know, and it prints out that way too, but, it, but, you know, to demonstrate that, uh, it's, you know, that, that you really are typing the characters that you are actually typing and not the ones that show up on the screen. So I can type something like, uh, and type something like that. And that will, uh, that first bit before the first colon, not the semicolon, but the colon before the next print statement, uh, does the same thing as typing this on, uh, this in, in the user's behalf. So it's a special, special way of entering commands into basic programs that's supported by Apple DOS and by uh, Apple Pro DOS. And um, yeah, so, so, you know, basically it ran this command that I already showed earlier that resets the input or resets the output rather and so you can see that once it had reset the output and executed the rest of the line it printed out a num normal hello world instead of the weird jumbly stuff that appeared as i was typing it so again that proves that um you know the input is preserved no matter what's showing on the screen um okay let's try another one what else do we have uh we've got fnord sure after which this project is named. So, um, and it just, it, uh, every time that this filter sees a carriage return, it inserts the lowercase word fnord at the end. Um, uh, you know, and that includes for blank lines. So like you see, uh, at the end, just above the prompt, it inserts it there and there's not really a lot else to say about it. Um, You know, you get to see a lot of a lot of Nords at the end of lines when I run the program again. Um, instead of running, you know, this PR pound zero thing, um, uh, you can also hold Control and 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 press the reset button on an Apple IIc or Apple IIe, and that will also. Oops. That will also restore the output because it sort of resets basic, but it still keeps whatever program is in memory and it still keeps, um, you know, it keeps basic in more or less the same state it was, but it does reset um, certain state values, including the um, the output routine. So, so if you can't remember PR pound zero, you can always remember just um, restart basic, uh, do a warm restart with the control reset and it will do the right thing. All right, let's try another one. Let's see, we did make case, we did Fnord. Highlight spaces is, well, I just gave it away. Um, yeah, HL spaces stands for highlight spaces. Um, and as you can see it, and it, it um, reverse, it, well, uh, Apple calls it inverse uh, displays for, for the space characters so that you can see. Now notice that there's still plenty of black space there. It only inverses the uh, explicitly written space characters, the ones that make it to the output program, not things like, you know, clear the line or what have you, uh, and not scrolling either. Um, okay, and uh, I'll do PR pound zero. And by now you've noticed that Resetting the input with PR pound zero or with control reset. Well, control reset is going to, yeah, just like that. All right. Um, 
you know, it doesn't change what's already being displayed on the screen. Whatever's on the screen is on the screen, and that's not going to change by replacing the output filter. It's already been output. Uh, okay, what else we got? Um, double, if I didn't show that already, I don't believe I did. It's similar to mixed case, except that it doubles every character. It, it makes for kind of hard to read, so, you know, surprisingly more difficult than mixed case and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can see what it does. It doubles every character. The one exception is that it will skip doubling the <laughs> carriage returns so that you don't double the space between lines because uh, they didn't particularly want to do that. And while, you know, typing print like that is, uh, you know, a little harrowing because it, it just looks wrong or whatever like that and it also extends the space <coughs> but that's okay because um, the display of backing over things with the left and right arrow keys also gets doubled um, so that the state of the screen sort of kind of uh, corresponds to what's actually going on in the input buffer because the input buffer isn't particularly based on what shows on the screen and again like I said only the things you're actually typing end up in in the um, actual input buffer that the Apple II sees so um, you know this is a valid command even though it doesn't look like one um, and that means that you need to be careful about things like backing over characters that may not actually exist in the in the input buffer which I'll show you uh, so B, this is here I'll just do a control reset so that we can properly see what I'm doing once again. I'm going to drun for bat. And, and this one just adds uh, the letters A and B before every vowel that it sees, unless the previous character was also a vowel. Uh, so you can type, you know, really. And notice that it inserted A, a and B before the E, but not before the A, because it had already just seen uh, a vowel. Um, but see, if I if I backspace over here, I didn't get all the way to the left before it decided that I was at the beginning of the line, and that's because it inserted characters on the screen that weren't ones that I typed. So if I say, print, hello, world, and then decide, you know what, I'm going to, you know, backspace over the word world. Well, the reality is, is I've, I've, I've backed over more than, more characters than it actually looks like I did because, so this, I backed over everything but H-E-L of hello. And it reinserted the A-B after the H on the output because that's its job. But yeah, so with this particular filter, it's best not to back over any characters and just retype lines if you have to because, uh, you know, or or to keep pressing the left character until until you start seeing this behavior so that you know that you're at the start of the line. Because, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the input buffer and what's on the screen aren't going to match up when the length is different. All right. Uh, all right, then, oh, yeah, let's... Uh, Try that again. Uh, mix case. Nord, highlight spaces, double leap, what but? Yeah, what but? Yeah, okay, so I've showcased everything, but it's also worth pointing out, you know, some of these play well with, say, if you turn on inverse, you know, so that, uh, you know, so that text is in inverse, or if you turn on flashing, for that effect. I'm not a big fan of that, so um, I'm gonna put it back into inverse, which is a little bit easier on modern eyes, I think. Um, back in the day, we were used to flashing text, but these days, it's, it's, it's not fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so some of these filters will play well with, uh, with a mode like inverse mode, and some won't. Um, any of the ones that use lowercase characters, like mixed case, are not going to work out. Uh, let's try double, for instance, because that doubles the letters, doing alternating uppercase and lettercase. Um, and you'll see this, it, it doesn't look right. It, it didn't actually 
double the letters at all. It's inserting random symbols and stuff. And this is because there are no lowercase character sets in the inverse. And so uh, those character positions are taken up by other sy sy uh, symbols. And uh, yeah, it looks like a mess. It really doesn't come out well. You can still kind of read it in doubles case because, you know, every other character is still the right character. So it sort of kind of works. But mi mixed case doesn't work at all because... Um, uh, because it's actually ruining every other letter. Uh, and so that's pretty, that's pretty illegible. Uh, so I just typed normal to restore things. If I type run again, oh, run again, it, it looks a lot more palatable and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you have to watch out for the ones that use lowercase if you're using inverse or flash mode. And I think that's about it for this project. It was fun working on it. Um, it's my first assembly language project for the Apple II. Although I uh, have had some experience working with 6502 assembly uh, on the Famicom or NES systems, and that was also fun. And uh, yeah, so this is my submission. Thank you for watching.